Hello everyone and welcome back to my channel and today we will talk about how to read an excel sheet as the one you see here to the right you can see I've imported a normal excel sheet and we have over here a name a class a profession we have some different names we have the class and we have some professions and how we can use them is that here if I'm searching for name one as we have over here in the excel sheet and we search for him we can see it's a warrior and he has smithing as profession the same let's take name number three it's a priest and we have wood cutting so yeah let's get to it So the first thing that we need to prepare is of course the excel sheet and in the excel sheet uh, you see here I have the name the class profession and the different names we have the classes and we have the different professions. Let's import that and that is the one I have imported here and here you can see how it will look when it's imported. It's very important that you remember the signs between the name and the class, uh, between all the names actually. Uh, I will show you later why. Because it can change in the different versions that you are saving the Excel sheet in. What I have in my scene is a simple canvas. We have uh, input fields up here. We have a button and we have some information where we have an image, just the white background here. We have a text for the profession. We have an image for the class and we have a text for the class. And I'm using TextMess Pro for this. So now let's create a new script. And let's call it read Excel. And open that up in Visual Studio. So now when it's opened up, we will need to make some public text uh, text asset. And this is the reference for the text file. The In this case, it's the Excel sheet. So text asset uh, data like this. And then we need a uh, what's called a uh, sorry a reference to our text mess input fields uh, we need to implement the using tm pro like this so input field text mess pro and this will call text input and then we will need a string for our text it actually don't need to be public we can do private and then we need a reference to the the what do, the profession and then we need a text pro for the class like this so this is the the input that we will have in the in the input field and then we have the two outputs that you see here so now let's create a function public void search and here we will say let's in the update first say our text is equal to the text uh, input dot text and now we need to make an array a string array for all the data that we have in the text asset data dot text and then we need to split it up and we will do that with a new string array and how will we split it up we will split it up when we get these signs and then we want a new line uh, remember it has to be backslash 
n and n means that it will go to a new line and then we need to say string split option dot none and this is here where it's important with this sign because if you save it as another kind of excel this sign will change so remember as i told you in the beginning when you have imported your excel file like this then you can see the sign here sometimes it's a comma sometimes it's this sign sometimes it's yeah it's it can be something else so if it doesn't work for you remember that you have written that sign that you have in your file now let's make a for loop and here we need to go through all the data dot length and if the text we have written uh, is equal to the data hi hmm. let me see here yeah. then sorry we need one more then the output no not the output sorry the profession the text is equal to data i plus one and the same we have to do for the class the class the text is equal to data i plus two and why do we need to say one and two let me show you that if you open up the excel sheet here sorry let's do like this uh, what happened like this then you can see here right now we ask it to find the name that you are writing in and that will in this case be number one two three four and when it has find that data for the profession oh we actually need to switch these two around i can see uh, um, let's fast do that let's copy this and say class and this one will be the profession instead like this then you can see the class is name one plus one and the profession is the name plus two so this is how it's it's finding the the correct names in the excel sheet so now let's save this hit back to unity and when we are back in unity we could go to the game manager you can see i have my old file so for that you can put on the script and here we need a reference to the excel sheet we have the text input that is our input field we need for the profession so let's lock it up here let's hope it's the correct one that is the class drag that down here and we have the profession here now for the button for the search button let's unlock it again we need an unclick event take the game manager on and we need the search so let's hit play let's press the here so we can see it over here let's say name one search we got the warrior and it's smithing and let's say name four we have the warlock and it's mining one thing that's a good idea to do here because if i say like name two nothing happens because this is lowercase and this is uppercase so to fix that if you open up again then we can simply say here dot two lower and the data will be two lower as well save it hit back again 
So now when you search, it will not think about the lower or upper case. Or it will actually make everything to lower. So when we are just saying name to and search, it will find it anyway, even if it's not uppercase. Yeah, that was uh, what I had to show you in this video. Thanks a lot for watching. And remember, if you want to see more videos from me, please hit the like and subscribe button below. Thank you and see you next time.